look someone's already been down here and broke all the good ice how unfair is that Tim's beating me today oh he's got his camera going too uh, camera on camera action <laughs> hey. something going on over there looks like a garden fair or something you know the English so that's my chest bag my backpack sleeping bags on the outside I've just stopped to put my Gore-Tex trousers on because it's going to get very muddy and wet from this point. Then we're heading across there. Yeah, loving it. Still quite a bit of daylight left. As you can see all the lower parts are pretty washed out now and flat. So yeah that's not for us down there. And push it I prefer cobblestones. And we're going to the riverbank camp. Tim's got his gaiters on. <laughs> I'm not mocking your gaiters. <laughs> they do the job. Good. Loads of snow drops out now. Smaller there too. Still plodding on through all the mud. It's not so bad at the minute. There's the island I camped on last week. That's me get my tarp set up now. Just pretty much dumped all my kit here and just opened everything up. Got my tarp up, I'm gonna get my hammock tucked up, tucked up in the top there. Quite high up. So I get the benefit of the top of the tarp. And not the wind at the bottom. Also I'm gonna close off those both sides once my hammock's up. Well, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've been in my hammock. Kind of missed it, missed the snugness of it. Tim's pretty much getting set up too. The hammock. Loving it. I've just fired my little stove on. There's a cup of coffee before we uh, before we start collecting firewood. That's my setup all done now. Just this side of my tarp to fold down, but I can do that there. It's my under quilt and my hammer all done. Tim's sorted also. Found some nice rounds of pine. Look at that. I'm gonna make some awesome seats. Just washed up here on my uh, sand beach, well, my stone beach sort of thing. So, yeah. These are some old cuts I did just to test how dry it was.
Right, just now as you're sitting listening to this video, I'm about to do a clip with the chainsaw. So if you're listening, you might get a fright with the loudness of it. So yeah, just giving you a, a up heads warning of that. thickness where I'm at now the rings on it are just incredible yeah the chainsaw clips are over now you can turn your mic up if need be <laughs> we've got a new chopping block which is this here we've also got a little bit of firewood for tonight and also a new side table here for our bench and that's Tim's seat. There's our table. We basically just cut the very trunk off. And now uh, you can see on Tim's video of this where I was cutting. And uh, yeah, it kind of jammed the blade. But yeah, that's... Uh, it was sweet. But yeah, we used the wide base as the top. So we turned it upside down. And there's my seat, which I've been using as a table. Tim's bringing the firewood. We just decided that we're going to since the uh, wood's good around here at the moment on the on the flood bit we're going to pull some more up and hopefully put a new back to our camp between this tree and this tree there's a windbreak just because the wind coming through here is diabolical kept my hammock and my tarp low down too just so the wind doesn't catch us which is awesome the gammon steaks on the go. We've got four big massive steaks. <laughs> Gonna have the gammon in rolls. Some nice bread rolls. See, I'm just gonna wait for them to cook nice and slowly on the side. Tim's chopping wood. Dodgy wood. Dodgy wood. Is that a new chopping block? <laughs> Just kind of stacked up all these logs behind us as a windbreak. This is the back wall to the camp. Just chopped them before, just one big log. Still like another two bits to come. That'll be a grand windbreak from behind the camp. Stop the wind wiping us out and freezing our backs. Good colour in them gammon steaks. These uh, steaks are way bigger than the rolls I've got. So I might have to half them. Doing grand now. I love this table, huh? Solid. These are our gammon rolls. So it's 5.35 p.m. and it's dark. You can just see the moon up there. So our new chopping block is working brilliantly because it just it's a, it's a safer, you know, other than down. It's at a better height where we can chop. So Tim's been chopping wood for the last like 40 minutes to an hour. Got some nice logs. We just uh, had our lunch about two hours ago and we're just potting around, building up our fire and collecting firewood, and admiring our handy table. <laughs> I love it, it's br brilliant. Piece of artwork, that, you know. Oh, it is. And also drying logs so we can sort out for, later for the fire been doing some building and look at that wall there's like three logs thick there and we're, we're working on this side here got some logs in I've just been cutting some 
bringing them off the beach. I'm absolutely loving this build, like it's awesome, the amount of high quality wood we have that's just washed up everywhere. The size of our little tables and seats and everything. I love it, I'm so happy. So I've got the fire separated now because we've uh, pretty much done loads and loads of building. We have a full back wall to the camp now. Which is awesome because it's proper windbreak and allows the area to heat up a lot, doesn't it actually? Yeah, it really does. So for tea, we've got a leg of lamb, or half a leg of lamb. And it's got paprika, rosemary, chilli, garlic, salt, pepper, cracked black pepper and uh, oil rubbed into it. So yeah, I'm going to keep that in the tray, wrap it in tin foil and then just put it in the bed here and cook it for about an hour and that should be sweet pretty much. I've got veg potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, red currant gravy. Yeah, looking forward to this. Oh, we've got mini eclairs for dessert. Finger food again. Oh yes. Means we've been posh campers. Oh yes. <laughs> Lambs on there, put a little bit of water on it. I've only got half the fire raging and I'm sitting, sweating. Red hot. Because we put the black back wall now and it's just brilliant. I love it. Just wood walls everywhere now. It really traps the heat in. Like it does, it's a little wood it's a little heat box. We're cooking away, um, our potatoes boiling rapidly, carrots are not long on, nice battened carrots, and the lamb is in here, I've just checked it, added more water, got the grill on for our giant York Yorkshire puddings, we've had to stone this part of the fire too, just because it was uh, starting to burn our cross beam. And also this bit here, because it started to burn that bit. That, that's not our fault though, that's just the fire doing what fire does. <laughs> Alright, it's our fault. But it's my fault. <laughs> but it's good to have a good fire. And I'm, I'm really happy with our camp and can't wait to show you it tomorrow. <laughs> the giant Yorkshire puddings are burning the hell out my hands. Oh, plate size Yorkshire puddings there. Potatoes and carrots, I've got the nice yeah, sauce in there. Uh, it's, uh, I forgot what it was, can you remember what it was, Tim? Red currant and something something sauce. Red currant and something something sauce, but it is really rich and nice. Burn my Yorkshire pudding. Shit. Burn my Yorkshire pudding. See, that's talking. That's the lamb cooked. It's awesome. Everything else has done the sauce. Plate size Yorkshire's. And there we are. Oh, hmm. And here it is. The posh bite size eclairs are out. For 12 a piece. Sit and chill and eat these now. We've done so much building tonight. I've all four walls now, pretty much. It just looks brilliant. Some of the luggage won't until you see it tomorrow. Oh, and I broke my chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, it's it's broken. But no injuries, that's the main thing. But wait until you see the work it did yesterday. And, well, tomorrow when it's light. Yep. Brilliant build. Chuffed a bits with it. Some of our finest walls. Yeah. Awesome. Can't wait to show you in the morning. I'll show you what we've done. You'll be able to see a big difference from like the start of the video to tomorrow morning, no, no doubt of it. The winds 
wind's picking up quite a bit and it rained a bit before but nothing serious catch you all in a few hours Slept real good, warm too. It's been windy and wet all night. Oh, yeah. I think it's time to get up, get some coffee. Look at that for a back wall. So last night we built all this, pretty much all this, all that, this side bit redone yeah nice seats a big table that's the windbreak there Wilson's there just a lot of gaps to fill in next time we're here Got some rain on again. Quite a windy spot this. Hopefully when the next uh, flood dumps the next load of wood we'll have some wind breaks for our hammocks. My duct tape patch. So, since this camp's so awesome now, we've put quite a lot of time into it. Decided we might go a little bit further. And uh, next time we come, we're going to put a cross beam from this tree to this tree and have a shot, uh, try and put a shot of going back down to our thing and then in the future we can tarp it we'll get the frame sorted first but that's for another trip, we're just having our coffees and packing up the last of our things and gonna hit the road get back it's me pretty much all done, dusted just my tarp Awesome. That's stump man, I'm so chuffed we've got that whole tree. So much wood in this now. And it's all literally driftwood too, so yeah. It's just what we pulled up off the floodplains. Oh, well, that's pretty much us done now. Everything's packed up. Pretty done. Just gonna high water on the fire and then split. Well guys, that's it for this trip, sorry about the wind, we'll catch you all again soon. <laughs>